guys, so today I'm going to be bringing you guys kind of a different video. I don't usually do these kind of videos, but someone requested I do this on my Instagram. So yeah, I'm going to be bringing you guys my monthly favorites this month for the month of May. So yeah, um, I'm just going to be showing you guys a few different products that I've been really into this month and that I've been really, really loving and using this month. And yeah, um, so the first thing I want to talk about is this EOS lotion. I don't know how long this has been out, but I'm so, so into it. Like... It smells so good and like I feel like it really really moisturizes my hands and stuff and I just I just really really like it like I just really like it um it's oh I don't know you have to get this like go buy this right now okay um the next thing I want to talk about is this blush and it's actually a cream blush I think I've used I've talked about this before in one of my other videos but I just wanted to mention this this month um it's the Visible Lift Blur Blush, and it's just a cream blush. I just, I just really, really like it. It's a blur blush, so it just looks really, really natural, and it just blends out so good. And I just, oh, I love it. Watch, it just, it just blends out so nicely, and the color is so pretty. And they have so many other colors, so I'm, at, I'm like definitely gonna go buy some more of these. Um, for my lips. I've been really, really into these lipsticks. Um, one of them is by Jordana, the Jordana Modern Matte Lipsticks, and they're just so, so good. Like, they're so good. And some other ones that I've been using for a while, but I just got into again, are the City Color B Matte Lipsticks. They're, th these are just overall so good, and they're like $2 each. They're so good for the price that you get them, and they're just so good. Um, Another thing is that like for lipsticks, for my lips, like I will not wear anything shiny. No lipsticks that are shiny, they will never touch my lips. Like I have lipsticks that are shiny that I have bought before, but like I just, I won't wear anything shiny on my lips anymore. Like I feel like my, anything shiny just makes my lips look so small and I just don't like that. I have to have some, like if, if, I, if I ever wear anything on my lips, it has to be matte. I will never wear anything shiny. So yeah, um, for my brows, um, my brows, I've been really, really into this Milani Easy Brow, um, brow pencil, and it just has a spoolie on one side, and the product on the other side, and I've just really, really been into this, like, I feel like the color is just exactly what I was looking for, and for, um, eyebrow pencils, like, it's, it's always, like, difficult to find the exact color that I want, and, like, this is just so, like, it just leaves my brows looking natural, and I just really, really like that. And then from e.l.f., I've really, really been liking this um, e.l.f. Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. And it's just the clear brow gel, and it's just so good. Like, it's like a dollar, and it just works so good. Um, another thing from e.l.f. is this e.l.f. Shimmering Facial Whip, and it's so good. Like, it's a highlighter, and it's just so good. I was kind of, kind of hesitant about buying this, but I saw someone else using it um, in one of their videos, and they said that they really, really recommend this, so I actually tried it, and it's really good. It's a highlighter, and for like a dollar, it was really, really good. Like, it just, it's just really good for a dollar, and it's a really good highlighter, like in my opinion. See? Okay, um, for my eyelashes, I usually, I tend to wear eyelashes every single day. I don't know why I'm not wearing any today, but I just really wanted to film this video. Um, so yeah, um, for my eyelashes, I usually wear eyelashes every single day. So, like I said, yeah, I wear them every single day. And this eyelash glue by Kiss is so good. It's clear. I, I will not, I don't like any, any, um, eyelash glues that aren't clear because I don't like it to show up as much, you know? And um, it's also waterproof, which I really, really like. And I feel like it's not, like, it's not harsh on my eyes. Like, some other glues that I've tried, like, it hurts so much to pull my eyelashes off. And this, like, I just have to yank on a little bit, and it just comes right off. It's it's so good. And I feel like it's so, like, it's just so good for my eyes. Like, it's, like, one of the best glues I've tried before. Um, for brushes, um, I've been so, so into these RC Cosmetic brushes. Um, I'm going to link them down below. They're so good, like... The, the bristles are super, super soft, um, and they work exactly for what I need them to. Like, this dome-shaped brush, I love using this for my contour, and it works so nice. Like, they blend out everything so good, so I really, really recommend these. And, um, another brush is this Mini Kabuki brush by Sephora. Um, and it's just so good. Like, I feel like this is the best brush I own right now. Like, 
not even like I feel like this is even better than the RC cosmetic brushes. They're, this one's just so good. It blends everything out so good. It, it buffs stuff in so good. Um, like whenever I use the Anastasia contour kit, one thing like people don't really know about that kit is like when you're using that kit, you just really have to buff that product into your skin for it to work how you need it. And I feel like this brush just really, just really does the job for me. Like it's just so good. I really, I, I really recommend this. Um, I was just talking about this, but the Anastasia contour kit. I've been really, really into this this month for my eyes, not for my face, for my eyes. I feel like this works so good for my crease and stuff, and it's just, it's so good. I actually used it today on my eyes, but it's, it's so good for your eyes, and you need to try this. Um, one of the last things I want to talk about are these perfumes, my favorite perfumes this month, and I have to say the top one is the, from Bath & Body Works, and it's Mad About You. It just smells so good, like... It smells so good. It smells so good. Like, it just smells so good. I don't even know how to explain this. It smells so good. Now, the second one is this French lavender and honey um, perfume, and it is by Bath and Body Works again. Um, it smells good. It just smells. These just both are like so good. The my main one though is Mad About You. I just I'm in love with this one. Like, I will never trade it for anything. Um, the last thing I'm going to talk about now is this Batiste Dry Shampoo. I've heard a lot of people talking about it. I've seen a lot of good reviews on it, so I just finally decided to try it. And I feel like it really hydrates my, like, scalp and my hair and stuff. Like, after I have day after hair, like, I use this and it's just, my hair just looks more alive. And it just, I just really recommend this too. So, yeah, um, that's basically it. That's all the stuff I wanted to show you guys. Um, I'm going to list all the products I mentioned down below in the description box below. So yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, just please give it a big thumbs up. Um, and if you're not already, then please subscribe. Um, and that's basically it. Let me know if you guys like these kind of videos and I'll be doing, I can maybe do them every single month. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys in my next video and thank you for watching.